Hi friends, it's Peg, and today I was up early in my studio, and I was gel printing, and I didn't have the camera turned on. Um, don't know why, but I thought, you know, I should probably do that. I should probably turn the camera on, because I know a lot of you guys like to watch gel printing and see what we're doing, and uh, so I am pulling some prints. Um, I've got my really big gel plate out here. I think this is like 12 by 18 or something like that. And then I've got a couple more smaller ones, uh, 8 by 10s beside that. Because when I do a project, a big project, I like to have big prints to tear down and use for collage. So um, I am going to because I've been printing for a while and the paper's starting to stick, I'm going to clean and condition my gel plate. And I'm just going to do that with some baby oil. Uh, you can get this at the dollar store. You don't have to go out and buy some fancy oil to condition your uh, plate with. Baby oil works just fine. And so I'm going to clean some of that stuff off of the edge and uh, condition my surface so that it's ready to accept paint because you know one of the things that I like about gel printing is there is this non-predictable part about it but then there's also th some things that are predictable so if you know some things about gel printing then you can make certain things happen even though it's a mono print and a one-off and you're only going to get it one time you can create some of the effects that you're looking for and so that's what I'm working on here with these papers. So this does a really good job of cleaning all that stuff off and I like to do this before I store my plates. Um, I don't really like to store the crusty stuff on my plates because um, sometimes they can leave an impression on your plate. And I don't want permanent impressions left on these plates. Um, they can be costly, especially if you're getting a big plate like this. And so it's an investment. And I want to make sure that I take care of my investment. So you can see on here, I've used some of those golden acrylic translucents. I've used some metallics. And this is a calligraphy paper. These are rice papers from Daiso. Um, if you're interested in any of these types of products, you can go check my resource page, which is at pegarobinson.com. I have additional links and all of the things that uh, I have affiliate links to or, um, you know, my Amazon store that is over there. And if you're over there and checking things out, you know, it gives you a lot of information. If you go to Amazon and you look in my store and you're looking things for watercolor or mixed media, my things are all broken down by category. And uh, if you look at a particular product, there's information about the product on the Amazon store site. So you can read about a product to know whether it's translucent, to know whether it's um, opaque, to know whether it is fluid. Um, you know, there's lots of things that you can learn just by reading the information about a product. Same thing on the product packaging. You know, I was talking to people last month about um, ink and what, what you could find out about ink. If you've got an ink pad, look at the back of your ink pad. It tells you a lot about the product that you're using. So I've got... Uh, some paint down there and a stencil. This is Stencil Girl stencil. You know, I like my big stencils from Stencil Girl. <laughs> God, I got the great big huge ones. Um, and I am using this Ideology tissue paper because I've had this in my stash. You know, I've been cleaning out my supplies and I've had this tissue paper in my stash for years. If you guys follow me, you have seen me use this tissue paper for any number of projects, and uh, I love it. I really do love it. I love the 
typography. I love the imagery. I love the, you know, and they don't make it this size anymore. They make it in a smaller roll. So I've been hoarding it and I'm saying, you know, stop it. Just get it out. Use it. You love it. Put it on a page instead of just looking at it on the shelf. So uh, this paper has some musical notes, I believe. And one of the things that I like about that is that my family is very musical and my dad sold pianos and organs for a living. Um, we had lots of music lessons as children. And so uh, <laughs> I, I sang in a choir, lots of choirs, uh, you know, the church choir, the uh, choir at the school, uh, concert choir, played piano, played violin, played viola, you know, so music plays a big part in my life. And so you'll see it showing up as a theme a lot in what I do. Butterflies show up a lot. Butterflies show up because my mother collected butterflies and she taught me how to preserve them and how to mount them. And, you know, so you'll see butterflies on my tissue paper. Yep, they show up and I use butterflies a lot. So there are reasons, you know, when you think in, intuitively, uh, some of the things that come out in your art speak to you uh, because of who you are. So don't be surprised when this stuff shows up in your art. So I'm using these uh, translucent fluid acrylics from Golden. I've had these for a long time too. And uh, I love the translucency because I can layer these papers over other things and you'll be able to see uh, the layers underneath. And um, that's something I really enjoy doing. So I'm going to work back and forth between different types of paper. I've got text paper, I've got calligraphy paper, I've got tissue paper, and I'm just going to work back and forth between those and create my prints. Ah, there's another lovely collage piece, right? So if you know about Shell and Art Joy Sharing and uh, what we do, we're a Facebook group, and Shell and I also teach some art classes. Um, collage is something that's coming up in the month of February. That class registration will be released on January 1st. So if you're interested in that, you can also find that on pegarobinson.com because um, yeah, your class registration is there. Your uh, Facebook group is where you're going to join once you register and where we do the live shows. And we have four live shows in a month and um, those are recorded so you can watch them. And we do these classes quarterly so that you can uh, review your class for the quarter and then we start our next class. So um, yeah, check it out. It's very reasonably priced. Uh, we try to give you as much content as we can, information as we can. That's uh, four hours, two hours from me, two hours from Shell Live, plus handouts, plus anything else that we give you in addition. So um, yeah. I think you might like it. So you can see I, the I, if I leave the stuff sitting on the page on the gel plate too long, it really saturates these papers, and so it wants to uh, get wet and peel the layers. So I have to be careful about not leaving it on there too long. But I want to want to do a few things, and so sometimes I take a little bit too much time. So anyway, if you really enjoy gel printing and gel printing videos and you like to see what other people are creating, I'm going to uh, just let this run. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about what I'm doing. You can see my process. I lay down a translucent 
uh, tone. And sometimes I use a stencil, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just put it on my tissue paper. Sometimes I put it on the calligraphy paper. Sometimes I put it on the text paper. But um, yeah, I'm just creating printed papers for use in collage. So there's that music paper coming out again. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling it out and I'm just getting different sections of this paper and adding color swatches so that, you know, I'll have the same paper but in different colors. And it'll still be translucent because I'm using translucent paints. I do put some metallics on there and the areas where the metallics are are not going to be translucent. They're going to cover up everything on the tissue paper. They even cover up the print on the tissue paper. But I like some little bit of metallic. Uh, you know, I'm the grungy thing for me has some metal in it. You know, heavy metal. <laughs> so I got to have some heavy metal. Uh, one of the other paints that I pull out and use that I like a lot is micaceous iron oxide and uh, it has this gray uh, metal tone to it and it's just uh, to me it's yummy so um, yeah gonna gonna use that gonna get some kind of grunge on my page on some of these prints too so There we go. I'm going to print a little bit over the top of the other area that has some color in it, and then uh, we'll pull that back. See what we've got. See, now we've got a red, a green, a yellow. It's all, it's all there, right? And I'm just pulling the excess paint through those uh, holes in the stencil. And then I will come back, pull the stencil up. There we go. And you can see I've still got an uh, image on the plate. So then I'll want to lift that. So I'm going to my butterfly and I will lift that onto that butterfly tissue and add that, uh, what is that, magenta tone to that butterfly print. And then I'm rolling that back because I'm probably going to add another color and put it right back down on the plate. And yep, that's what I did. <laughs> I added another tone. And it's like I'm putting a little bit of that gold into this one, mixing that around. I want to get that blended in. I don't I won't, don't want just one big blob of gold, so I'm going to try to mix that in a little bit. And then lay that paper right back down. On my plate and pick that up. Oh yeah, liking that. So you can see I have a variety going on here. There's enough wet paint left on the plate that I can pick some of that up with my prior pull. Oh yeah, lovely. And just keep moving down the roll of my tissue paper here.
So now I'm speeding this up two times fast. Um, I don't think that's too fast. If you want to, there are buttons that you can slow things down with, but, um, you know, I spent a lot of time printing, and uh, you can spend hours at this. I can spend days at this, and uh, I can't videotape at all, but I'm giving you kind of an overview of what I'm doing here. So um, two times fast, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I love to uh, hear from you, get your comments, get your feedback, um, and if you're new to my channel and you like this, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, click the bell for notifications, and you do, you know, if you want notifications, you do have to be signed in as you, uh, you can't just click the bell for notifications and not be you, because it doesn't know where to send the notification. So that was some frosted, what do they call that stuff? That was some frosted film. And it's a clear film that comes on a roll. And I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but it's almost like a, um, what do they call that? The stuff that we used to put on our countertops, uh, covered um, contact paper yeah it's almost like a contact paper but it's clear and it's a film that I can print and uh, so I thought that would be fun to play with it's fun to die cut and do all kinds of things with but um, I wanted to get some color on some of that frosted film so I do work back and forth I do layer uh, on top of other prints and so you know you'll see some of these prints come back out and uh, just keep working through the pile so I may come back in I may not not sure but let me let me speed you along and just give you some pretty printing <laughs> gel printing sessions here
Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy holidays.